What's going on, YouTube? My name is Brian. And before I get started with this video, I want to give all the glory to the Most High Creator for giving me wisdom in my journey for truth. Now, there are people at the highest level of our government who are knowingly operating in dishonesty when it comes to the nature of our very own reality. And one of their goals is to get everyone to believe that we're living on a spinning globe. So, as a truther, I believe that my goal is to expose a purposely deceptive group of people at the top who knows that the earth isn't what we've all been taught. This video is mainly for people who currently believe we're living on a globe and for those who are up for a challenge. Here are step-by-step -step instructions for an experiment that anybody could do to prove the Earth doesn't move using the stationary pole star Polaris. Logically thinking, if one thing about the globe model can be proven wrong, i.e. the movement, then the whole thing comes crashing down like a house made out of a deck of cards. You ready? Okay, number one, get a globe and a sun. Two, get a basic understanding of how seasons work on a tilted globe model. Here is an analemma for those who are unaware. For the globe believers, this is evidence that the earth is tilted as we orbit the sun. Three, research the distance that the Earth is supposedly traveling around the sun in a year and the supposed diameter of the sun. Four, get a laser pointer, then attach it against the globe, pointing it towards the north. This will represent Polaris throughout the night, all year round. The laser is also used to point to your location on the globe when you check to see if Polaris ever moved. Five, get the Celestron Sky Portal app. This would be a secondary way to confirm that Polaris keeps a stationary position in the sky for the duration of the experiment. Six, construct a device to support a scope that will look directly at Polaris. Design it to be placed in a fixed position with markings that points in a direction which faces the north. This is done in order for the device to be put in the exact same spot every time you check to see if the star would ever move. Seven, with your device, test the movement of the star as many times as you possibly can for six months. I recommend starting the experiment on December 21st because the Earth would be tilted farthest away from the sun on winter solstice and that you finish on June the 21st. Therefore, the Earth will be facing the opposite direction, 180 degrees being tilted farthest toward the sun on summer solstice. Eight, while performing your experiment, make sure to use the scientific method. All right. The first step in the scientific method is to make an observation. The observation that I made was that the North Star Polaris is always in its exact same position in the sky every night that I check for six months. The second step is to ask a question. Question, how is it that Polaris remains stationary over the North Pole? opposed to all the other stars. Keep in mind that the Earth is spinning while orbiting the sun. Third step, form a hypothesis that answers the question. My hypothesis is that there's a solid rotating dome structure over the Earth and the sun, moon, and stars are within it with Polaris at the center. 
The luminaries are all smaller and closer than what mainstream science tells us that they are. I propose the biblical account of heaven to be true. It is described as being a firmament, which is a solid structure dividing the waters above from the waters below. Fourth step, make a prediction based on the hypothesis. Polaris should never move out of its position in the sky based on my hypothesis. With the current accepted model of the Earth, which is said to be rotating, tilting, and orbiting the sun, Polaris should move around in the sky just like all the other stars. It should rise in the sky in the summer and be lower in the sky in the winter. It should also move left and right depending on if it's the spring or fall. Polaris should make an analemma, just like the sun. Fifth step, do an experiment to test the prediction. First, I constructed a device to support a scope to look directly at Polaris. I designed it to fit on a fixed location on the rail of my balcony, which is on the third floor of my apartment. Luckily, the direction in which it faced was north. It works by being placed on the rail, marked by four lines and an arrow, so that when I check the star, the device would be in the same position as the previous time. I started this experiment on December 21st, 2020, which is the winter solstice. For six months straight, I performed this experiment to see if the star will remain fixed in its position as hypothesized. On clear nights, I periodically checked on the star until June 21st, 2021, which is the summer solstice. It is confirmed. Every time I observed the star, it was there. It remained stationary for the six month duration of the experiment. Sixth and final step, analyze the results. I chose those dates specifically to challenge the heliocentric model, which describes the earth being tilted farthest away from the sun on winter solstice and six months later on summer solstice, the earth will be facing the opposite direction, 180 degrees being tilted furthest toward the sun. Not to mention, we're supposedly traveling hundreds of millions of miles around a gigantic sun. Meanwhile, that star never moved, just as I predicted. My hypothesis is correct. Well, good people, this is the end of the experiment. I hope that many of you will take the challenge and hopefully you'll come to the conclusion that we've all been lied to. I'm gonna leave you with a quote from Mark Twain. It's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. So with that said, I wanna give a special shout out to my wife, Courtney, and my homeboy, Robert. Friends, family, and coworkers who know that this is my passion. And for those who know that I go by Flat Earth. I just wanna thank y'all for supporting me over the years. Even the ones who like to debate me, it's all love at the end of the day. And I want you to keep your head up Lastly, shout out to ODD for the shirt, Mark Sargent, and David Weiss. I want to see this video on the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. The Flat Earth, Sun, and Moon Clock app. A dynamic new app to teach family and friends about where they actually live. The sky is a perfect clock. The sun measures the hours and days. The moon measures the weeks and months. The star constellations measure the seasons and years. 12-12 or 24-hour clock face or go hands-free. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app with new added features.
world time. See what time it is all around the flat Earth. A true Earth compass that shows true navigation across and around the flat Earth plane. Weather. Tap for detailed local weather information. Know what phase and where the moon is at all times. Watch the sun travel between the tropics for the seasons. Select an amazing background. Add your own or have the app change it to a new one automatically every time you use the app. Add a countdown to your next big date. Learn the truth about our world with the featured video of the day. Web button for additional flat earth related features from the mythical curve calculator all the way to Tartaria. While talking to friends, easily pull up pictures that expose the globe lie and shine light on the flat earth truth. Video playlists in different languages. See the real trade winds circling the flat earth and clean screen features. Simply click off the items you don't wish to see. The Flat Earth Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app is the best tool to show your friends and strangers how our flat earth actually works.